Welcome to Hunting the Hunters, Chapter 6 of a Thora Silent Blade Tale. The large bonfire burning in the center of the room cast a dancing glow, eerily flickering across a massive trail of blood spread across the floor. In the distance, Thora was sure they heard the sounds of feet running. But it might have just been the adrenaline pumping from the recent battle. Spreading out, the crew checked the three exits from the main cavern entrance. It was Duane who picked up some sort of sound coming from a wide open service tunnel to the deeper parts of the mine. The turtle waved the others over to the mine entrance, gathering together before they followed the wizard's lead into the dark tunnel. The magical light held by the wizard showed a widening cavern and a heavy set shape upon the floor. The dead eyes of the dwarven miner stared up at them, seeming to blame them for not arriving sooner. Thora wondered about what might have been. What if they had gotten here just a few minutes faster? Would this miner have survived? Did he have a family? Why do these fools have to take off on their own? The soldier muttered as they moved along, following the bloody footsteps on the stones. Thora was brought back to the moment by a movement up ahead. As they all slowly advanced into the cavern system, Thora noticed the shape of a creature moving along one of the many branching tracks. The slender frame, lanky legs, hunched form, and hide clothing made it clear that this was no miner. Expertly leaping over the edge of a nearby mining cart, Thora took cover and gestured down the tunnel to alert the rest of the crew. It had seemed obvious, at least to Thora, that the action of jumping into a minecart to get out of sight was an attempt to conceal and not bring extra attention to them. Instead, the rest of the group seemed to take that as an indication to aggressively charge forward and draw as much attention as possible. For the next few minutes, chaos reigned across the mine. A shout rang out through the tunnels. Save everyone! Peeking over the edge of the minecart, Thora saw the source of the noise. The shelled figure of Duane rapidly surged his peg-legged frame down a different tunnel, away from the knoll ahead of them, yelling the entire time. If there were any knolls at all that had not heard his first shout, they would definitely have heard it now.